Okay. Oh, camera. Hi guys. And today, I was just trying to be silly. And today we are going to be reading a new book. We just did. The Principal, the Principal in Black Lagoon. But today, we'll be reading another line. Just kidding. We're going to be reading another line. Can see that skirt up there? Don't worry about that. We're going to be reading Madeline. And today's book of Madeline is we're going to be learning is that she is a really little girl. You see that? She's a really little girl, but she's not a baby. So we all know she's not a baby. But today, we are going to say to this book that this book is awesome. And you can learn from it. That's a little sad, but it's probably the best book you ever heard. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. But it's not going to be that sad. It's going to be a little sad. And she went to the hospital. But she was fine. Okay. But the kids really missed her. So. But we just have to go with that. So. And today we're going to be reading. Alan, of course. Madeline. And you can see it's like. This way as a hot dog, and it's and this way as hamburger. That's the wrong way. There we go. It's better. And here we have this, and here we have this. And today we're going to be reading this book because maybe we want this book. I don't know. If you heard this book, read along with me, and you can go get it and read along with but I'm just gonna take a sticker off for now. Just kidding. I'm gonna keep it on and put it somewhere. I'm gonna take it off right for now. Okay. Now I. And I'm gonna put it back on. Just like that. Yeah. Well, we should get started because we're out of two minutes, so we gotta get started. Okay. Today we're gonna be reading Metal Line. Let's get started reading. In an old house in Paris. Ooh, do you live in Paris? That was covered with vines. That was covered with vines. Lived 12 little girls. Oh my. 12. 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 12 little girls. That's a lot. These are not a thousand girls, like. But that's a thousand girls, or a billion girls, so much. Like a three, which is not even a number, is so much for an old house that is small. Look, I don't know if this is small, old house. I'm not real sure. Big, whatever. <sighs> In two straight lines. In two straight lines, they broke their bread. Hmm. And brushed their teeth and went to bed. They smelled the good and frowned at the bed. And sometimes, they were very sad. They left the house at half past nine, which means it's still eight. In two straight lines. In rain or shine, which means sunshine, like the sun. smallest was the smallest one was M Madeline 
he was not afraid of the mice. He loved winter snow and ice. To the tiger in the zoo, Madeline just said, Poo poo. <laughs> he said, Poo poo. And nobody knew so well, so well, huh, how to. Frighten me. We'll have to frighten Miss Clavel. Clavel. In the middle of the night, Miss Clavel turned on her light and said, "Something is not right." The mill. Little Madeline sat in bed and cried and cried. Her eyes were red. And soon after, Dr. Khan came. He rushed out to the phone. And he delayed Danton. Ten six. Nurse, he said, it's an appendix. Everybody had to cry. Not a single eye was dry. Madeline was in a was in his arm in a blanket, safe and warm. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, I like this painting in here. It's a nice painting right there. So that's the ambulance. In a car with a red light, they drove out into the night. Madeline woke up two hours later in a room with flowers. I love that painting. It's so beautiful. I love that. I wish I could be that kind of artist. Madeline soon ate and drank. In her bed, there was a crank and a crack on the ceiling. Had the habit of sometimes looking like a rabbit. There it looks like a rabbit. Cool. Outside were birds, trees, and in the sky and so ten days passed quickly by. One nice morning, Miss Clavel said, Isn't this a fine a fine day to visit? Madeline Visitor from Two to four, read a sign outside her door. Tiptoeing with so many, so many, I don't know, face with some flowers and a vase. And they, and they walked and then said, ah, ah, when they saw the toys and candy in the dollhouse from Papa. The biggest surprise by far on on her stomach was a scar. Uh oh. Goodbye, they said. 
will come again. And the little girls left in the light. Uh oh, it's raining. They went home and broke their bed, brushed their teeth, and went to bed. In the middle of the night, Miss Cor Miss Covell turned on her light and said something is not right. And and afraid of a disaster. Miss Clavel ran fast and fast and faster. And she said, Please, children, do, do tell me what is troubling you. And all the little girls cried, Boo hoo! We want to have our out too. Good night, little girls. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You are well. And now go to sleep, said Miss Cavell. And she turned out the light and closed the door. And that's all there is. There isn't any more. And I think Madeline's going to come back soon. Sad that she went. But it's kind of sad that she went to the hospital without them. And not Miss Cavell. But there's still the doctors, so. And she will come back. Madeline will come back with her family. It was very sad, but that's okay. If you thought it was sad, comment down below. Oops, I'm doing the thumb down. Let me say, comment down below and press the bell button. Come down below, press the subscribe button, the bell button, and we'll see you later, guys. And make sure you comment this book if it was sad or happy or whatever. Man, whatever you thought it was as a feeling. And I'll see you later. And, and I hope you enjoy this book. Press the subscribe button, bell button, and hope you comment down below. For the smelling book, if it was sad, happy, um, sad, happy, mad, whatever you thought it was, or it was a little sad, it was a little sad to me, so me it was to you, so I'll see you later, bye guys, I hope you got that below, bye.